NASA discovers Earth's gigantic cousin, Super-Earth Kepler-452b. Kepler-452b is an exoplanet situated almost 1,400 light-years away from the Earth. It's revolving around a sun-like star named Kepler-452. It's also known as Earth 2.0, as it's a rocky super-Earth, or as we call it, the Earth's big brother. Before we continue further, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Future Collective, for more amazing videos just like this one. With that out of the way, let's get to it. Kepler-452b is almost five times heavier than our Earth and is placed within the Goldilocks Zone, which is the closest and most optimal habitable region from the parent star the exoplanet revolves around. It's considered to be the most potential exoplanet candidate capable of supporting life as we know it. This potential is so well acknowledged that scientists around the world have already started scanning the radio transmissions coming from Kepler-452b. This exoplanetary system lies in the Cygnus constellation approximately 2,600 light-years away. Although with the current technology at hand, traveling to Kepler-452b is not at all possible. It would take us almost 26 million years to get there, which is keeping in mind the speed of the New Horizon spacecraft. Kepler-452b might look similar to the Earth in many aspects, with the only exception being the difference in size. It's not yet confirmed if Kepler-452b has a thick atmosphere or if it has liquid oceans on its surface. Concerning terraformation, Kepler-452b might have multiple active and high-density volcanoes, which is also in retrospect with its higher mass and density as a whole. The existence of volcanoes would directly indicate the presence of misty clouds and also be conclusive of the fact that the planet's surface is covered by a thick layer of smoke. This was confirmed by the sightings made by many observatory telescopes around the world right after its discovery in July 2015. Its orbit, or revolution, is also very similar to that of our Earth, with Kepler-452b taking around 385 days to complete one single orbit around its parent star, Kepler-452. The radius of the super-Earth is almost 50 times that of our Earth. Due to the exoplanet receiving about 10% more sunlight than its parent star than the Earth, its surface temperature is slightly higher than ours. In short, it's warmer. Also, the exoplanet is not tightly locked with its parent star. It means the gravitational interaction between the exoplanet and the parent star is only of the conventional pull that puts the planet into a permanent orbit. This relation can be understood with the analogy of the Moon and the Earth. The tidal locking between the two causes sea wave formation on Earth, where the gravitational pull of the Moon acts on the surface of our oceans. All of the above-mentioned features that make Kepler-452 similar to the Earth have led astronomers and scientists around the world to name it Earth 2.0. Kepler-452, the parent star. The parent star of Kepler-452b is almost 1.4 billion years older than Earth. There's a chance that Kepler-452b might just have lost its atmosphere due to the increased energy output coming from its parent star, the Kepler-452. With that said, the massive difference in size makes it much bigger than our Earth, which in turn means the gravitational pull will be much stronger as well, which means that the planet's gravity might hold on to the atmosphere for a much longer time as compared to the Earth. This increasing gravity will also mean that walking on the exoplanet would be tricky. The currently available data on this exoplanet is very scarce. This is due to the sheer distance between our planet and Kepler-452b. Yet the data suggests that this exoplanet might just be the one planet that humans could consider first if our Earth becomes unsustainable for living. It is also assumed that Kepler-452b is an aquaplanet with a uniform ocean depth of 4 kilometers. With that, our video has come to an end here. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Future Collective, and hit that bell icon for more future-related content. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.